All right, so uh, I just want to make a quick video talking about what's coming next for Global because a lot of people are, you know, asking. Um, so w w what's going to come next after Assault Melee? Is it something we should be summoning for? Um, so they just put up, you know, a, a quick update preview, literally just saying that there's nothing coming basically this week for Global, which is how JP works. Global for the longest time had a banner back to back to back to back every week but now they changed the model to how jp works which is there's a banner one week and then the other week is a dead week and then banner one week dead week banner one week dead week that's just how it works um and that's how global is operating right now so basically i guess there's a new exchange shop um and then 100 death match rate and then death match holds rewards times sure. zero uh, and then these costumes are coming out, the Halloween costumes that came out for JP, the, um, you know, past Halloween last year. And uh, honestly, the Asterosa costume looks really good. I really like the Asterosa costume. If you want to pick it up, pick it up, but these are all for, like, money. I don't even know if they are available for gems. Like, I, I, they should, but regardless, this is not what I'm talking about. This is not what I want to talk about. Uh, by the way, people are still angry. You can see the ang angie reactions. Um... Because, you know, they just... Where is it? Yeah, they just gave this response and haven't done anything ever since about it, the, the subject. But not really here to talk about this. I want to talk about what's coming next. If you, are, if you guys, you know, know, uh, if you guys, you know, been paying attention to YouTube yesterday, we did get the ReZero collab confirmation for JP coming in the next few days. Um, next you know, week for JP, or now this week in like actual week time, because it's already Monday, right? Um, so this week, basically, on Thursday, we should be getting the ReZero collab for JP. A lot of people are asking, when is it going to come out for Global? There's no, you know, specific date I can give, but I'm going to theorize that this might either come in three weeks for Global, or in six weeks for Global, or even eight. Um, the reason for it, or... Hmm? Yeah. Six, no, it's either three, five, or seven weeks for Global. The reason for it is because I don't know if they're gonna wanna release Merlin or this first. There's a chance that this is gonna come out first than Merlin because, uh, you know, the Attack on Titan collab and the KOF collab released very quickly for Global. It wasn't a thing where it was at the same time. They usually waited for the JP collab to be done and then release the collab on Global. But this could be different because they are, you know, the, even the Korean devs are saying that they are, you know, letting uh, JP and Korea go slow so that Global can catch up. So uh, it could be the case where this collab comes sooner than later, but I'm telling y'all, y'all want this to come the later. Because if and only if the Ram and Ram that are coming are, you know, really stupid broken, and our demons and work with Assault Melee, y'all are gonna want to have them. And, um, you know, Assault Melee just came out, the one came out right before. I'm assuming y'all are lacking gems right now, you know, with all these summonings. You know, these like good units coming out is something that you don't want to have currently. So, what I'm expecting next week to release is this. Uh, the Valenti and the Easton. These are very, very skippable units. I love Valenti. I think she's one of the most fun units in the game. Uh, just because Valenti has, like, honestly one of the greatest effects in any card ever. Uh, that only she has. Which is this one. That nullifies all skill effects. And it's just hilarious. When you nullify a goddess Liz and she tries to put up a shield and it doesn't work. Because basically what she does is she puts up a debuff that nullifies any skill effect, like let's say like C Sever, right here, right? Sever just doesn't work if it's nullified, you know? The, the blue the blue text in a card just doesn't work if they're debuffed by this, and it's hilarious trying to see people use it. But, you know, not that many people use it because she's a very exclusive unit being, you know, in a banner like this. And this banner sucked. Do, do I show it in the, in the video? I should... I should have shown it, but um, I'm not gonna exactly find it. I know the banner sucks, so just know this is an easy skip, um, in my opinion. This Valencia banner is an easy skip. So if it does come out, um, I don't recommend tossing whatever new you know gems you have that you just recently got because 
Uh, I'm gonna assume most of y'all summoned for the one. And a lot of y'all summoned for God's um, uh, summoned for Assault Melee. Trying to find I think that at this point I just showcase her. Uh, you know, most of y'all should summon for the one and assault melee, because they're hype characters, and I don't recommend spending your gems here. Uh, banner sucks and honestly just not worth it. But uh, Merlin, you might want to consider, because um, after this, I'm, I'm going to go here. I don't know if uh, it's still being kept up, the uh, list of banners. Where is it? Nah, uh, Google's that they stopped, you know, uh, keeping it up after Nanashi, but... Um, currently, what's separating Global and JP are literally just Valenti, the Easton, which is an okay character as well. I can bring up what she does, but she's just an okay character. Um, she's just an okay character. The Valenti, the Easton, the Merlin, and the Denzel, and that's it. These are the only four characters that separate Global and JP currently. That's it. That's literally it. Um, Valency, Easton, Merlin, Denzel. Now, Merlin is a really good unit. She's actually like God tier, but, <laughs> but there's a big issue with her that um, she came with a terrible banner and she's not necessary. Where, you know, you know when Lost Vein came out and Goddess Liz came out? Those were necessary characters. If you, if you didn't have Lost Vein when he came out, you weren't playing the game. You know, if you played the, if you played at the time and you didn't have Lost Vein, you know what I'm talking about. If you didn't have Lost Vein, you weren't playing the game. And if, if you didn't have Goddess Liz when she came out, or even still, you just aren't playing the game properly. You can still play without Goddess Liz, but... You know, when Lost Vein was at its peak, it was insane. The one is a similar case where if you don't have the one, you're not, you know, fully playing it to the extent that you can. You can still play, you know, PvP with other teams like Saurio and even Assault Melee. But he's like, as soon as he came out, he was the greatest, right? Merlin isn't really like that. She, she belongs in the best team in the game, currently, on JP. The best team in the game is Merlin, Goddess, Liz, Red Gopher, and Askinner. The one. That's the best team in the game. For geared. For ungeared, she's not very good. She's okay for ungeared. She's not that great. Um, so she's not, like, a necessary banner. I would recommend skipping and waiting for new things in the horizon. Um... That's just my opinion. You, if you like Merlin and you want someone, she's actually a very good unit. For geared, again, she does belong to the best team in the game. And for ungeared, she's still good, but she's not like insane. So you want, if you want someone for her, do, but her banner sucks. Uh, her banner doesn't have the one, her banner doesn't have Lost Fame. It just has King and Goddess Liz, which Goddess Liz is still, you know, a fantastic unit, but she's been in like three banners now. And uh, counting, you know, her own banner. And um, she's one of those units that if you already have one, yeah, you could go for dupes, but you're not getting as much value as maybe, you know, saving now and maybe, you know, waiting for the next Holy War Festival. If it's a unit that's going to help Meliodas, you might even potentially, you know, pull some more Assault Melee dupes in that banner, uh, getting you know, the newest character, which, you know, the new Holy War Festival is going to come out maybe in um, a month now for JP. I would say, you know, they're gonna have the collab now in JP, and then two more weeks of something else, maybe Chandler and Kusak, and then the Holy War Festival, that's what I'm predicting. But for Global, you know, they might actually release as Merlin after the collab, so we're gonna see how good these collab units will be. But in a general sense, I do you know, think skipping Merlin is the best. Uh, Denzel is a free unit, so they don't have to worry about him. But that's literally it, that's the only thing that's, captain, that, that's keeping JP from Global are these four characters. Uh, that's how close Global is to JP. So, we're gonna see what the Rezero Club is gonna, you know, come with, but that's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting either uh, the Rezero Club is gonna come in five weeks. Yeah, because in, in, in... Yeah, in, in either three weeks or five weeks. It, or seven weeks, if they wanna go, you know, uh, giving some players some time, but... I think three or five weeks is uh, the ReZero collab for Global. Next week is this, and then in three weeks might be ReZero, but 
it could also be Merlin. And if it's with zero, great. Maybe it's maybe it will be worth summoning for. And then by then, we will not have actually any info maybe on uh, the Holy War Festival. Um, but if it's five weeks and they do release Merlin first, that's good for global. But that, I'm actually more expecting a three week, um, just to be like, um, like uh, you know the other collabs because. They might, you know, still want to capitalize on the initial impact of having the collab, but yeah, the Rezero collab is probably going to come sooner than later for Global. I, you know, I would hope that Global would have more time to save, but that's just how it is. So, um, good luck. We'll see how good they will be. And uh, yeah, that's it.